In an important medical story for Americans tonight, heart doctors are putting out controversial new guidelines for preventing heart disease. These guidelines put less emphasis on cholesterol numbers and more on other risk factors in determining who should take medication. We asked Dr. John Lapook to fill us in. A generation of doctors and patients has focused on specific targets of cholesterol levels when using statins. But the new guidelines say when it comes to preventing heart attacks and strokes, there's no magic number. Dr. Neil Stone led the panel. We did a careful study of what number we should use. Was it 100? Was it 90? Was it 80? Was it 70 for LDL? You know what we found? We couldn't find a single number that made any sense. So rather than adjusting the statin dose to reach a certain cholesterol level, the panel now advises doctors to prescribe either a moderate or high dose depending upon the patient's risk factors for cardiovascular disease. The group says patients may benefit from statins if they have a history of heart disease or stroke, LDL or bad cholesterol of 190 or higher, the onset of diabetes between the ages of 40 and 75, or a 10-year risk of heart attack or stroke of at least 7.5%. To measure that risk, the panel created a calculator that considers factors other than just cholesterol, including ethnicity. For example, a 50-year-old white male with treated high blood pressure, total cholesterol of 220, and good cholesterol of 45 has a 10-year risk of cardiovascular disease of 5%. Statin treatment may not be warranted, but for a man who is African-American, a group known to be at higher risk, the exact same numbers give a risk of almost 9% a level that meets the panel's criteria for treatment. Everyone is different. We all have our risks and our individual factors that make treatment either more beneficial or may make treatment more difficult. And to deal with uh, that, we're urging a patient-clinician uh, uh, discussion. Getting rid of target cholesterol levels is such a departure from current practice, it's likely to be very controversial among doctors. But the panel hopes the new guidelines will help remove the false sense of security that can come when a patient on a statin has a very low cholesterol level but eats poorly and doesn't exercise. Big change. John, thanks very much.